Hey gang, this is Stormy. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Stormy Plays Inferno Mines. Last episode, we got the orange wool. Oh, we got the white wool too, come to think of it. Last episode was really productive and I'm not going to make any promises that this episode will be as productive, but well, I'm sure we'll find something, hopefully not trouble. So let's see if we can find the secret that I know darn good well. I was thinking it was down, but then on re-watching this, I was thinking maybe it was the secrets up here, not down there. Um, this is spooky, not going to lie. Not going to pretend it's not. It's very spooky. I think maybe it's down, not up. One of them, it looks like it could be either way. And one of them is like a fake. And then the other one is the right, actual right way. And uh, we're not going to fall in the lava. How about that? Like a fool. So maybe it's down. I guess it's down there, maybe? It'll be. Yeah, there it is. Whew. All beta testers missed this loot. Yeah, well. I didn't, but I wasn't a beta tester. But I didn't miss it. I didn't miss the first time I played either. So that's that stuff. What book is that? Ooh, Infinity. Well, Infinity is pretty easy to come by on this map. But those are some nice prizes. We will, I'll loot that. I need to like make a note of where I'm leaving all this loot. Because at some point I am going to have to go back and get all the loot. So let's see. So last episode, we went and got the wool out of Lower Mines. And so this episode, let me just make sure all my settings are as they should be because there's a few of them. So this episode, um, we're going to go, yeah, we're going to go finish securing Lower Mines. And then we will go to another place. Let's go this way and light this up. Did we do lower mines last time or did we do upper mines? Yeah, we did lower mines. I thought so. Oh my goodness. What a day. So how's everybody doing? It is cold where I live. It is snowing or it was snowing today. Now it's just cold and it's blah. I don't know. I don't mind the snow too much. I'm just not a fan of the cold. I got to tell you guys, it cannot be spring too soon to suit me. I do like the longer days though. So that's nice. So let's come back in here. So last episode, we did get the wool out of here, but we only went one direction. So this time, we want to go the other direction, I think, and try to see if we can light up the whole area so that my husband can can make grinders for us and not get obliterated <laughs> in so doing. So we're going to light up this area. There's a lot to this, this dungeon. Ow! Stupid spider, I couldn't get away from the creeper. I'm gonna try not to, last episode was long, that's not the norm, okay? That's not how most of the episodes are gonna be, I don't think. That's not the plan anyway, it's just I was on I was on a good roll and I kinda don't wanna stop recording. But I don't think, usually I think the episodes are gonna be between 25 and 30 minutes, that's what I'm aiming for anyway. So, no promises, but that's what I'm shooting for. I looked in that chest. I checked. I looked in it three times last episode. Because <laughs> I rewatched the episode, like I said, with uh, with my husband. So, yeah. And I seem to have finally figured out the audio issues. I seem to have finally found some levels. I just, I found an, a, a, a volume adjustment that I didn't know about. And I fixed that. I changed that. And it seems to be working better. So, yay. Hopefully... Hopefully it stays working and I don't have to worry about that stupid interference anymore because that was seriously annoying. So let's, I heard something burning, but I guess there's so much lava around here. I was inspired to record because there's, you know, it's cold where I am and Infernal Mines looks like it would be a warm place to be. Kind of like Sunburn Islands. I, I wonder, is it any is it any wonder I did uh, Sunburn Islands right before I did Infernal Mines? I was probably just, you know, wanting to feel warm. Although Sunburn Islands is a little more of a trop... It is more of a tropical warmth. This is more of a, you know, rock-melting, earth-obliterating hot... Would you come... 
Okay, fine, don't. Then come back here, you stupid guy. Did I see a light cue over here? I don't know. Mm. We already did that once. What's in this chest? Stuff. I'll come through and I will get the loot. I'm trying to find the path we didn't take. The road less traveled, as it were. I need to find food in some of these carts. I was assuming that I would, so I didn't really grab. There it is. So I didn't grab much before I left the uh, the base. I didn't grab much torches. I mean, I made what we had as far as coal I made into torches. Uh, I knew we'd get more, but I need to uh, be sure and <laughs> look for it before I run out, preferably. Oh, zombie in a minecart. I just love that. I do. I love when the mobs are in the minecarts. It's so cute. You know, partly because they can't... Whoa, do stuff like that. Wow. All right, cool. Holy crap. I didn't realize there was a, a, um, a, a creeper spawner. Oh, right there. Thanks for, you know, illustrating where you guys are at. But I do wish you'd quit blowing up. I'm out of arrows. Lots of infinity bows on the map, and I don't manage to have one. I should have grabbed that book and put it on my bow. Oh, crap. But I didn't. Where is it? I know it's here. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Where's it at? I know there's a creeper spot. Aha. Where did it spawn? Because I saw it flare up like it spawned. I see you. Please don't blow up my torches. Please. I'm really getting tired of that. So this path, the biggest reason I'm taking this path is because there are some grinders I want in here. So we need to light up this area as well. Um... So, uh, and then there's loot. There's, I don't know if there's anything, I don't recall that there's anything on this, this side of this cavern that you'd want to come back for. I don't think, I don't think I'd miss anything, really, except for some random loot, but we're going to check anyways. We're, uh, we need to do this, so, and at this point in the map, when you're just starting a map, any loot basically is, or not any loot, but you know, random loot is still good. You still want it because, you know, I need blocks. I need coal. I need, you know, I'm not that picky about my loot yet because I don't have enough to be picky. So, can you come here, please? Crap, we're out of food. I thought about updating to 1.6 and playing it in 1.6, but there's that issue with the, the zombies in 1.6 where they're just off the hook hard and, like... You know, aggro so easily. So I think I'm going to grab some of this coal. I did bring... Oh, well, we have some torches. And yeah, let's put our... Well, at least our back is to the wall. The thing is, is that we're going to need torches to uh, light up these spawners that I don't want to destroy all of. So... I'm hoping... So yeah, the uh, I do have the file open, so I, I told Roy he's welcome to hop in anytime he wants to. Okay, one of these witch spawners can go. Or, well, I shouldn't have said one of them. Shoot, all but one of them can go. Crap, I don't think we have any arrows either. So let's retreat. Oh, well, they <laughs> got the spider. There's a creeper. Hey, creeper, I've got a witch problem chasing me. You think you can do something about that? Crap. Double crap. Triple crap. We're in trouble. Hide. <laughs> oh. Boop. No. Woo. That was close. Shoot. We're out of food. Well. I'll wait. I really wasn't prepared for this, was I? Whoops. My bad. Let's be careful. About digging. Because we know there's lava behind this wall. So we want to really watch ourselves digging. That lava about scared me. Man, oh man. It was, I saw that coming through the wall and it was like, oh, crap. Yeah. <laughs> that was scary. Whew. My word. Crazy, crazy. Did I see a creeper behind us? I guess not. Now, I know where there's something that would help us um, with one of our problems. But I'm not too sure about going and getting it right now. So 
there is that. I'm a little little uh, nervous about that because it's pretty. Oh uh, yeah, it's it's dicey to get. Okay, where do I want to go? Mm. I'm just kind of I'm doing this in patches. Like I'm lighting this up in patches. It's kind of funny, but whatever works, right? We can do this however we want, you guys. This is our playthrough. Yeah. If we wanted to be all efficient and, and, and officially efficient and whatever, then we would be. But we don't want to be. Now, will they blow up if they're in a cart? At me. I'm trying to remember. Make sure I know what's behind me so I don't back off the stinking cliff. I know there's a cliff back there. I'm... I'm not, you know, when I'm backing up, I'm like, oh, please, please don't let me go off this cliff. That would be hugely, hugely silly on my part. Not much to say at the moment. I'm doing the creeper dance. You know, it's like dance forward, lunge, dance backward. What is that, lunge and parry or something? It's like fencing with creepers. I think the wall is going because there's lava behind it. Because I don't know if you guys have noticed, ugh, or if you can even see it on the video, but in some places there's a glow behind the blocks. And I think maybe that's when there's lava behind the blocks. It glows a little bit. Because I noticed that wall that I dug into in my hidey hole there, I noticed that that uh, actually had a slight glow behind it when I dug into it. I just didn't, uh-oh. Crap, and it's dark. And we have no torches. And there's a witch. So let's go this way. Let's run for a bit. I haven't had a good jaunty sprint. Oh, hey, guess where we are? We're right back by where I took refuge before. Sweet. So we are making progress, but we need to get out of here because, well, getting hungry uh, and running out of torches. So, well, we are out of torches. So, yeah, we're going to get out of here and see what I can come up, come up with. I think this is mostly lit up now, though. We just need to light up those witch spawners a little more, I guess. Is there a ladder up there or something? But we just need to light up those witch spawners a bit more, and I think we'll be able to call it good to go, and it'll be safe enough for him. Um, he generally has a tendency to die when he's making grinders anyway, so I just don't want to uh, make it harder on him than it has to be. So... We'll see. I'll, I'll get him the, uh, there's a special goodie that I'll get for him, but we need to go get food. I miscounted on the food situation. So, yeah, I can't run any more crap. I could eat zombie flesh, I guess, if I had to, to keep from starving. I don't really want to, though. I'm not sure it'll do much good, because we're only missing, what, a heart and a half? So, I don't think it'd do much good. Oh, that cart's not even on the tracks. Whoa, that was creepy. It was like levitating. Ooh, scary. Scary stuff. Um, man, yeah, nothing in there I care about. Well, actually, there's some pants. Come here. I need pants. We need some pants. We're running around buck naked. Uh-oh. There's those guys. They're loose. Or no, they're not. They're up there. They're just glitched. So, oh, right. I can't run. Uh-oh. Now they're down here. Um... Ow. Okay, stop. Ow. Okay, stop, please. Okay, get them, get them. Get them to hurt themselves on the blocks. Okay, do I have... Um... Okay, we're running. We're running. This is us running. Please don't let there be a skelly in the hallway. Just don't let there be a skelly in the hallway. Please don't let there be a skelly in the hallway. <sighs> Half a bar of hunt. Oh, crap! There's a skelly in the hallway. No. 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 I refuse. Uh-uh. I'm not going down in my own damn hallway. You go away, you stupid, stinking skelly. Don't you do it. Uh-uh. No, no, no. Please let there be food in here, please. Uh. 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 All right. Um. Oh. Oh. Holy cow.
Wow, guys, that was full, guy. Who? Who? I don't think I have ever, ever been that close to dying in this game and then survived. Ever. I am like shaking. I am not even kidding. I am. Oh, wow. Holy. That was close. Oh, that was scary. Wow. Just wow. Oh, my goodness. What do we. Oh, man. I am just. I, now I'm all like keyed up. I'm going to have to settle down for a minute. Wow. Oh, I don't think I breathed. Holy crap. That was. That was too intense. Ooh. Alright, I'm gonna pause for a bit and go get some more food and uh, uh, collect myself, okay you guys? I'll be right back. Wow. Alright guys, I think, I think I'm all better. Oof, I took a little bit of time. I moved a little more inventory over and gathered up a few things. So we have a bunch of soup, some torches, and... Uh, oh right, some mushrooms over here and then a bunch of cookies in one of the chests. And I wanted to see if I can put this bow and this bow together and get... Yes, I can. Power 3. Sweet. I don't have an infinity book or anything to put on it yet, but that's okay. This will be nice. What did I just hear? That was weird. Alright, so um, let's see. I, I'm tired of playing with lower mines. We'll go, we'll go back in there and finish lighting that up. Uh, whenever. Oops, sorry if I just bumped in you guys' ear. Let's go, let's poke into Everforge. We, uh, yeah, we're halfway through the episode, so let's just poke in here. Hey, wait a minute. I see something. What do I see? Is this the thing for Rosie? I think it is the thing for Rosie. Pretty sure, but we'll check it out anyway, just to be sure. But I'm pretty sure this is, yeah, this is Rosie's thing. Um, I'll tell you guys what that is, just in case any of you are wondering. Um, it's a thing for Vex's friend Axel Rosie, his channel artist, and it'll only work for her. So that's all right. All right, so let's go to uh, Everforge and see what kind of trouble we can get into, into there. Let's try not to have another close call like like we did a little bit ago. Holy cow, I that was insane. Uh, our sword's low. Well, okay, well, whatever. Um, I wish I had a strength potion. Like, I really, really wish I had a strength potion. That would be super helpful. I want... Okay, whew. I wanted to hurry and look behind me and make sure there are no there were no creepers camped in that corner. So let's just yeah, we want to go pretty quickly through here and uh otherwise oh crap. Nope, no spider. There's things behind us. We need to move and there's a hole right there. So we want to be careful of that. Let's get some more torches down. And how are we doing? We're doing good. We're doing real good. Ah, dang it, break. Erg, thank you. Okay, there's dark back there, and I really don't want to be close to that dark, because there's scary, scary stuff back there. We don't want any part of it yet. We want one part of this at a time. Can I have a sword? I don't want a creeper. Now, there is a danger right here. This floor is only one block thick. And a creeper can blow you. When they explode, of course, they blow you up, usually. And um, what can very easily happen is they can blow you through one of these holes. Like, either jostle you up in the air, and then you fall. I don't want to give you a demonstration. Oh, nice. Thanks, creeper. Or, um, yeah, so we want to be real careful because I got, I got knocked down there before by that by a creeper just kind of blew up a hole in the floor and then blew me up through the hole um there's some more food i don't know why like we're we're not having trouble with food per se oh good torches or well coal it's just i'm i'm not really i think i'm not taking the time i should be taking to gather it all up what i want is creepers not to blow all this up so i need to be sure dang it die i need to be sure that behind me behind us is lit up and clear because I don't want 
anything coming up behind. That would be bad. I need to remember, we've got a good bow. It should two-shot things pretty reliably. Don't blow up, please. I don't want this structure blown up. All right. Man, I'm still having trouble getting my head in the game all the way, guys. <laughs> I think it's just from what just happened. I just can't. I'm, like, still kind of in shock because that wasn't that long ago. Uh, honestly, it was only a little bit ago, so... I took just maybe 10 minutes to to uh, move some inventory and find some food. And that's as far as I've managed to make it into that dang door. Ah, We're getting there, though. You know, each torch is a little bit further away from the doorway than the last. Come on, hurry, hurry. There's creeper spawners arrayed through here. But if we hurry, foof, we can shut them off with light. All right, let's take a short breather. We're doing... Excellently, guys. I could not be happier with our progress here. We are seriously doing really well. So, let's see. Whoops, I think I just saw one spark under the thing. No? Ah, there it is. Sweet. There's one over here. I know. I'm not sure where, though. So, there's going to be bad guys in there. Right there. There it is. Got it. All right, and you want to, especially when you're fighting creepers, use more torches than you need to because what can very easily happen is uh, if one of these torches gets broken, you know, like if I'm careless and I take out a torch, if I don't use extra torches and I leave a dark spot, they're going to instantly spawn and blow up torches. And then you're going to have what was your secure lit up room is going to be a, well, you're going to have to, you know, re-secure it. And, and if you don't want to redo things, and I certainly don't enjoy redoing things on games, you really want to, uh, you know, just use, there it is, excess torches, just to be sure. So, yeah. Doesn't hurt. Alright, so about the only time I've ever regretted being so liberal with my torches is because I always run out of them. But... You know, it's never, it's never made it harder to clear a map, aside from I just had to keep getting torches. That was an amazing shot. I managed to shoot the creeper over the bouncing spider, or under, or through. I'm not sure what I just did, but it was a good shot, you guys. You gotta admit, man, I am at the top of my game tonight, in one way or another. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure what the hell's going on, but eh, it's working, it's working, it's good. All right, what have we got in this chest? Um, th ooh, a golden, a golden sword. I'll take that sword. Thank you. Sure, for the sword. Let's dump some stuff we don't need right away. Um, yeah, I want to do that. I'll put that. Th no, put that there. Thank you. Um, yeah, the stuff. There'll be trips. There's a lot of loot. Never forge. Oh, hey, the saplings. Remember, Butterfingers. Jeff dropped them in the um. In the lava, so here's the reserve stock of saplings. And we have all the kinds except acacia and dark oak, because those weren't added yet. So, yeah. Sharpness three, sharpness one, there's I will happily take that. Ooh, pork chops. You know what? Why don't we keep the pork chops for now and put away the chicken? Whoops, no, melon. Melon is horrible. Melon sucks. The only thing melon is good for is healing potions. And ooh, steak is even better. Um, but melons, I mean, they'll keep you from starving, so there is that, but when it comes down to anything else, they're just not worth it. Their, their saturation is super low, they're just not really worth eating. So, you can brew with them, you can use them to make uh, health potions if you care, but that's about it. Alright, so let's, we're only, what, 22 minutes into the video. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna have, I'm having a little bit of trouble with my timing just because I, you know, I kind of figure it out. I have to figure it out for each map. It, You know, each map is a little bit different in terms of when, you know, how I should work starting the episodes and, and timing the episodes and stuff. So I just have to work it out. It'll be fine. But the episodes are going to, they're not going to be reliably any length, I don't think. What do I see running? I see something running back there. Like, really really fast what is that what I wish I had punch on this bow I'd feel better okay what was running so so fast like I want to know that's a skelly oh crap 
What is, is that a witch? What the hell, is that a witch on speed? What, whoa! She's after us. Oh, crap. She's on us, she's on us. Shoot, 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 shoot the witch, kill. Oh, yes, ooh, hey, things. She dropped what? Uh, things. Potions, I saw potions drop. I know they drop boots and potions and experience bottles, enchanting bottles, which is fantastic. Let's hurry and throw down some touch, some torches, because there's a lot of bad things in that dark, and we want to nullify it, or not nullify it, pacify it with light somewhat before we go waltzing back there in that dark spot like we own it. We'll own it after it's lit up, and we need to eat again. So we will shoot the crap out of these guys, turn around, check our backside, come around this pillar and eat. There we go. Whew, stream of consciousness for the win, right, guys? So this is a big old castle structure. What I understand, the lore of the place, and anytime I, you know, talk about the lore or anything, I'm not, I'm talking about what Bexy said. So, you know, the information, I'm just repeating from him, just to give him credit for it, obviously. It's his map, but, uh, uh, damn it, I'm slow, and poisoned, and getting shot, and things. Would you guys stop, please? Seriously? Which isn't skellies, that's a bad combination. And they drop bread, too, so that's nice. Uh, feather falling for witch boots. What was I saying? Oh, yeah, Vex lore, so, yeah, it's not, I'm not making this up. <laughs> the story or whatever. But anyway, he, to him, in his mind, this is, like, where the workers, like, live for these mines. And, and this is the main living quarters, so you've got bedrooms and stuff. So, yeah, that. Dang it, stop shooting me! Oh, Skelly Rage! Rage! Rage against the skellies! Ouch. Okay. Alright, if Weird Al Yankovic played Minecraft, he'd do a uh, spoof of Rage Against the Machine and it would be Rage Against the Skellies. Nuts. You need to die. You need to stop existing. You need to die. And we need to put a torch and we need to take out this spawner here. Because these guys are just going to give us headaches and we don't want a headache. No siree Bob, we don't. Is this a thing? Because there's a block. I guess it's just a block. All right. Um, well, we've made it to the back wall of the structure without too much trouble. Ooh, a nice stack of eggs for if we want to start a farm. I don't know whether we'll need to or not. I really don't, but eh, whatever. We'll see. Fire protection legs. I think I'm rocking unenchanted legs right now, so those might be nice. Since we don't have access to a fire resist potion. Hey! Oh, darn, they saw me. Look at all those arrows. Holy crap. Neurotic skeleton much? Jeez. It's that there. I think that pillar is dead. If it was a machine gun, that pillar would be chopped in half. You know, like on movies when they cut the machine or the pillar and, or the wooden beam or something with the machine gun. Ow! And then the arrow bounces off the creeper and hits me because, of course, it does. Why not? This, this game's been trolling me. Whoa, crap. Creeper. Skelly, Skelly, cutting off our block, our exit, I mean. They're cutting off our exit. Oh, well, there went our sword. Ow, that's a spider. Get off me, bug. Can I have a sword? Thank you. Yeah, I needed a sword. I found a sword. I'm good now. You can die, thanks. Crap, where's the damn spawner? Ow, ow. There's a spider behind us. Isn't that No, I don't want to look in the furnace. Ah! No, I want to put up a torch before another skelly spawns. Uh-oh. That was our last torch. Oh, hey, look at... Whoops. Look at us. We are a pincushion, friends. Look at us. Wow, we're like just pricked to pieces. What is down here? What is this down here, then? I don't remember this at all. I don't think. Um, Loot! What have we got? We've got a steak. We've got some armor. Some of those, some of that. Cool. Cool things. All nice things. We will come back and get these things off camera, so I will come back and get these things. I won't make you guys do it with me. The only time I'll do that is if I have a good story or something, and I just don't have much right now. It's, it's winter time, and even though we've had a really, really mellow winter in northern Arizona, uh, it's bad enough. I mean, we're not out doing what we what we normally do, you know, during the summertime, we go out to our local creek, we, you know, go out to the desert, and, uh, romp around in Roy's, uh, 
four wheel drive and and take the tent trailer out camping so there's a lot more that goes on in the summertime in the winter time we just we don't do much none of us skis or or snowboards so yeah all right so we are 28 minutes into the video where do i want to stop this episode where's a good spot i guess i'll go up here i hear skellies though i hear them yep i do ow i would like to get um somewhere oh not there oh oh no okay let's let's retreat how about that I don't really want to take on all those skellies. Did you guys see? That was a wall of skellies that came around that corner. They were in a firing line too. They were like, do, 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 do. Uh, no, 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 no. That would be skelly rage to the max. Like extreme skelly rage. So we're going to run in here. Oh, poop. Where did you come? Oh, you just scared. She scared the shit out of me, you guys. Oh my good, I'm gonna shut the door and then I'm gonna put a torch up here and then I'm gonna sit in this little room and I'm gonna cry because um, <laughs> this has been like the most harrowing uh, Minecraft experience I've ever had, I think. So I'm gonna go, you guys, and take a break. But uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll see you guys next time, okay? Until then, take care. <laughs> Bye now.